Hey, I'm Josh, and today I'm gonna do some retail arbitrage. I'm gonna show you how I go into a local retail store, find some products that I can resell on Amazon to make a profit. So what store am I going to? I just pulled up at Marshall's. It's a discount department store. You probably have one near where you live. They've got a lot of clothes. They have a lot of name brand stuff, and usually I can find at least a few things in here that I can resell to make a profit. So let's go inside and see if I can find anything. All right, here we go. We're going inside the Marshalls. I haven't been in the store for a while. And I like that there's a sign right above here that says, grab a cart, you'll need one. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> Fine, I'll grab one. Uh, and just in here and to the right, there's a shoe section. So we'll stop here real quick and take a look. But you can see it's pretty bare in here. There's really not much going on over here. Okay, one of the things I like about this Marshalls is they don't cut the tops of their shoe boxes off. There's another Marshalls where I live and they'll chop the top of the box off for some reason. I don't know why they do that, but you can't resell it on Amazon. So this one, they're nice enough just to leave it intact. Okay, since we're already over here, I might as well scan some shoes to see if I can find some profit. So let's scan these with the Amazon Seller app. Okay, so the sales rank is 62,000, which is pretty low, the lower the better, and the buy box price is 69.94. So what are they selling it here for? 39.99. Okay, so we can make about a $10 or $11 profit on these. That's just not enough ROI for me, so I put them back. Okay, so I'm heading over to the men's clothing section and I'm dropping stuff on the floor and there's one that's hanging by a thread there. It's passed through that. It's pretty packed over here. There's lots of clothes and name brand stuff. There's a pair of Nike shorts right there and they're $24.99. That's probably not gonna be profitable, but I'm seeing lots of good stuff here. Junk brand, there's a Reebok pair of shorts. More junk brand, more junk brand. But there is a lot of clothes over here. And here's a bunch of shirt racks. They're just stuffed with stuff. Uh, let's see, here's some Puma stuff. There's a spider shirt. There's a Nike dry fit shirt that might be profitable. Junk brand, another Puma shirt. Okay, so I got an Adidas shirt here and it's on sale for $14.99. And the MSRP tag says 30, so let's give it a scan with the Amazon Seller app. And the current buy box price is 34.90, and the sales rank is 88,000-ish. That's pretty good. So let's take a look at the offers and who else is selling it. There's only two people on here that are selling it as new and prime, and the lowest is 34.90, so that's a pretty good sign that there's not a ton of people on it. So I'm gonna give it a scan with an app called Profit Bandit so I can take a better look at what's going on with this product. Okay, so yep, the sales rank is 89,000-ish. And you can see with this sales rank history chart, this product does sell. All these spikes and jumps means it is selling, and it looks like it's selling pretty consistently here over the last few months. And there's our two FBA sellers on there. Now let's look at the Keepa chart which will show us what it's been selling for over the past like three months. So it's jumping around quite a bit. It's down at 30 over here back in May, and then it kind of jumps up to 35, and then almost 45 there for a minute, and then back down to 35. But let's see what we could make on this. Okay, so if we got it for, it's $14.99, so we put 15 in there as our buy costs, and if we sold it for the current buy box price and just undercut it, we'd make about 10 bucks on these. That's what that green box is. So if you hit that button, it'll break down all the fees and show you where the money's actually going for this. And you can see it all broken down here. Those are all estimates. But what I'm actually gonna do now is, I'm gonna open up the Keepa app so I can get a better look and take a further look back at what this has been selling for. Because this goes back all the way to September. So you can see that red line there is where the new third-party FBA sellers are. And then Amazon's also on it, those yellow chunks over there. But you can see over the past year, it never goes below $30. So worst case scenario, we pick this up and maybe have to sell it for 30 and only make five bucks on it. So I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, I've got two Adidas sweatshirts here. They're the same thing, but they're just different sizes. One is a medium and one is a large. So let's give it a scan with the Amazon Seller app. Okay, so this is the medium I just scanned. 
It looks like there's nobody on this listing right now, and the sales rank is 312,000, which isn't great, but it's not the worst. So let's open up Profit Bandit so I can take a better look at what's going on with this product. So there's the sales rank, 312,000-ish. You can see this product does sell. It looks like it's been selling much more consistently as of late. It's telling me that there's somebody on this listing, but we know there's nobody on there. Sometimes these listings don't match up 100%. Uh, let's take a look at the Keepa chart here and see what it was selling for. So it looks like somebody was just on this listing around August 7th, and they were selling it for, it looks like it was about $84 there, it looks like. Um, so I think, let's scan the large with the Amazon seller app and see what happens here. Okay, yeah, there's the sales rank. It's 312,000-ish. The buy box, this one actually has a buy box at $81. So let's see who else is selling this. We're only looking at new and prime. Okay, so there's two people on this selling it for $81. So let's open up Profit Bandit and give it a scan because I want to take a better look at it. Okay, you can see there's nobody on the listing, like all of May, most of June. And then two people hopped on here, it looks like, uh, in July and August, and they're selling it for just over 80 bucks. And they're selling it here at Marshalls for $29.99. That's a little pricey, but let's put that in there. We'll put 30 in as our buy cost. So we could make $32 on these approximately. You can hit that button and it'll break down the fee so you can see where the money's going. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna open up the Keep app and take an even better look because there's not a lot of data on here. I wanna take a further look back at the price. This should go back to September, which is a whole year. Okay, so it looks like the lowest it's ever been was about $40 there for a little bit. Amazon's been on there with those yellow things intermittently for about $65. It's a little bit of a gamble, but I'm going to pick both of these up because I believe I could sell these right now for about $80, maybe a little bit less. It's a little bit of a gamble, but I should be able to make some money on these. Okay, this shirt is ridiculous and it like hurts my eyes. It's a National Geographic shirt and it literally hurts to look at. Yes, I might buy this for myself. All right, here's a Nike dry fit shirt. So let's give it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, the sales rank is nice and low at 13,000. The lower, the better. And the buy box price doesn't look too bad at 31.76. Um, and it's got a red tag clearance for $13 on it. So we scanned it with Profit Bandit. And you can see the sales rank chart. This is moving, these spikes and jumps here. So we could make about, worst case would be about $4.36. The reason I might pick this up is because it's just a really low sales rank. And a lot of these low ball sellers over here, they might sell out and I could probably price mine up around $30 and make a sale. So I'm over in the women's section and I'm looking at this long sleeve Nike shirt here. It's got a $70 MSRP tag and it's $16.99 here at Marshalls. So we gave it a scan and it looks like there's nobody on this listing and the sales rank is about 246,000, which isn't terrible. And it does sell if you look at the sales rank history chart here. And it looks like we could make about a $12 profit on that. So I'll probably pick that one up. Okay, I'm over in the clearance section and I've got this pretty nice Columbia shirt here. The red tag on there says it's $13 and the MSRP tag says 65, but let's give it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so the buy box price is 42.90 
And the sales rank is a bit high there, but it's not, that's not insane. So let's see who else is selling it here. We're only looking at new and prime. Okay, so Amazon is on the listing there for $42.90. Uh, let's take a look with Profit Bandit and give it a scan here. Okay, so the sales rank is a bit high, but this sucker does sell. You can see these spikes and jumps here on the sales rank history chart. It is selling. And there's Amazon on there. Let's take a look at the Keep It chart. Uh, it's jumping around a bit, but a lot of times it's actually up around that $65 mark there. And then we did happen to hit a time where it jumps down to about 42. The thing is, if we get it for $13, we almost can't not make money on this. Worst case scenario, we're selling it for about $42, $40. So if we got it for $13, I mean, worst case scenario, we'd probably make about $18. But we really could make about 30 or maybe even $40 on this if things kind of shaked out properly. And they had another one here. They had a different one. It's the same exact style. It's just a different color. It's the same price and had all the same stats, basically. So I'll pick those up. Okay, I'm looking at this fresh white Adidas sweatshirt here on the clearance rack. And the tag says $24 there and the MSRP is 60 bucks. So we'll give it a scan here with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so the buy box price is $69.99. Sales rank is pretty low at $77,000. Let's take a look at the offers and see who else is selling it. Okay, it looks like they got three people on there and they're all selling it for $69.99. So that's a good sign. So let's open up Profit Bandit and give it a scan. Okay, so it's not selling super quick, but it is selling. And there's the keep a chart. It's pretty consistently, it's around 60 bucks, and then it jumps up to about 70 there for a little bit. So we should pick this up. Uh, let's see what we would get if we got it for 24. Yeah, so we'd make about $30 on this. And you can hit the button there and look at the fees. Okay, I'm looking at this Columbia sweater that was probably left over from last winter. It's got a red tag, it's down to $24. It's got a $90 MSRP tag on it. Let's go ahead and give it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, the buy box price looks nice at 90 bucks, which is the MSRP tag price. And the sales rank is way too high, but you also have to remember it is August right now. And this stuff's probably just not selling because of that. So let's see who is selling it. Okay, uh, Amazon's on there for 90 bucks. That's okay. Let's open up Profit Bandit so I can take a better look. Scan, would you? Okay, so it does actually sell in the summer here. People are actually buying this. There's a few sales here by these spikes and jumps here. Sales rank is a bit high. It's over a million. But like I said, I think that's because it's summer here. And over the past, let's see, since May, let's see. I mean, the very lowest people are selling it for here is about $75. And Amazon's just holding steady up there at about $85 to $90 up there. Um, I think I'd pick this up. I mean, if we got it for 24, I mean, the ROI is just too good on this at $44. We're kind of coming out of the summer and fashion stuff. So I believe this will sell in the fall at least. And I should be able to make, I don't think I'll make $44, but I should be able to make about 25, maybe $35. Okay, so don't overlook the boys clothing section. I found this Adidas jersey. It's like a football soccer thing. And they've got it for $7.99, and the tag there says $70 on it, so we give it a scan. Uh, the sales rank's a bit high at $700,000-ish. The buy box price looks pretty good at $59.99. Let's see who else is selling it here. Let's see, the lowest prime person there is $69.98. Okay, so let's open up Profit Bandit. 
so I can take a better look and give it a scan here. Okay, so you can see the sales rank's a bit high. It does sell. You can see these spikes and jumps, and it jumps up here, and I believe the sales rank jumps up like that. Yep. Uh, you can see the price jumped up from $50, and then it jumped up to $60 there. So people didn't really want to pay that. So if we sold this for, let's say, $50 or $55, and we got it for $7.99... So we're still looking at like a $32 profit if we undercut everybody here and just get this sucker out the door. Okay, so I'm looking at this Nike boys jumpsuit here and they've got it marked down on the red tag for $16. Let's give it a scan with the Amazon seller app. Okay, so the buy box price is $43.52 and the sales rank isn't terrible at $165,000. Let's take a look at the offers and who else is selling it. Okay, so there it is for $43.52 is the lowest, and there's a couple people. Uh, there's a bunch of people in there for $43.52, like a whole bunch. So let's open up Profit Bandit and give it a scan. Okay, what is going on with this thing here? Okay, so yeah, the sales rank is 160,000. It does sell here, and you can see that flat line over there. That means it wasn't selling at all. But you can tell from Keepa that's just because nobody was on the listing during that time. So it wasn't selling, but people do want this outfit here, and there are a bunch of sellers on here. So if we got it for, it was 16, we'll just put in 17. Yeah, so we'd make about 14 bucks on that. That's, I'll pick that up. I just left Marshalls. I showed you most of the stuff that I picked up in there. It was mostly Adidas, Nike, and there was some Columbia stuff in there. Uh, a lot of times the store will just get a truckload of whatever brand in, and you can just go in and clean them out of all their Nike or Adidas stuff. And it worked out pretty well today, so let's go over the numbers. Uh, I spent $327.30, and the total profit I should get after I get that $327.30 back, and after I pay Amazon all their fees, I should make about $462, which is pretty good. I hadn't been in that Marshalls for a while, and it paid off pretty well today. Uh, if you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them down below. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, whatever you'd like. That's really all I got for you today. I'm Josh. That's what I did today, and I'll see you next time.